Today we are going to provide a quick demonstration of how to log into your CloudTrax or OpenMesh account and change the DNS servers on your network so that you may use DNS filter on your network in order to filter out any undesired content or malicious requests. First let's start by logging into your DNS filter account. As you can see we are currently located on our overview page which is the first page you hit after logging in. Next we are going to want to go to the policies page. Here you're greeted with a list of each policy and the associated DNS server IP addresses that you would want to use if you want to apply this policy on your network. Of course, by this point we're assuming you have already created the policy and you've chosen to apply it to the appropriate network. If you are unsure how to do this, please check out our introductory video on how to operate and add your first DNS filter network. Anyway, moving back to the DNS IPs, find the appropriate DNS servers for your policy. Here we can see the system has specified the standard addresses, uh, a primary address of 103.247.36.36 and a secondary address of 103.247.37.37. Now let's log into the CloudTrax dashboard. Upon login here, you will be greeted with the overview page again, as you can see, and you're going to need to navigate into the configure tab and then onto the advanced page. On this page, you will have a field that says alternate DNS. CloudTrax actually only allows specifying one DNS server uh, address, so we will use the, st the standard address of the 103.247.36.36. Then we're going to click Save Changes. And that's it. Within a few minutes, your CloudTrack network will update and it'll start to send all DNS requests to DNS Filter. Your policy will immediately be applied and you will start to see statistics populate within your DNS Filter dashboard within about 15 minutes. And that's it. If you have any other questions or you need any assistance, please feel free in your DNS Filter account in the dashboard to contact us through the help form or check out our knowledge base and we'll be happy to assist.